picked up here for J-Team. The only thing they need is a proper support. But why not pick the Vi first? To solidify at least the engages here on their side. Woohoo Gaming doesn't have a strong tank just yet. Rakan can be quite tanky but not enough as a Galio, as an Alistar, as an Orn. Not enough. And now JT will look in to bash those skulls of Woohoo Gaming. Yeah, uh, let's see what's going to be the next two picks uh, for the side of Woohoo Gaming. Uh, even though they weren't locking in the, the Violator, it's, it feels like more of a done and dusted oh. deal. Uh, but the Swain, is that going to be the lock in right here for Woohoo Gaming? It's one of those control mages. Uh, that does a very uh, kind of a similar thing with Vladimir in terms of like HP scaling and stuff. But no, they went with Ziggs for a bit more of that wave clear and siege. And it's a vo oh, two fast picks from both of these teams. Ball the yeah. Bear closing things out for Woohoo Gaming while not as it's going to be the pick for JT. I'm looking right now on where these champions are going to go. Okay. So it's gonna be the Ziggs Rakan uh, in the bottom. It's gonna be the Volibear. Mm -hmm. Volibear is the champ champion. Don't really see quite as often, I believe here, uh, but still has that reliable stun uh, on the first ability as well as a, ta a really good tower diving ability potential later on. So we might be seeing a priority in the Baron lane, or at least a priority with the Fiora try to snowball her with the ultimate of the Volibear gives him a bit more access to the dives in the top lane. Let's see. I'm. Uh... I mean, both of these teams bring out the big guns here in this potentially final game between Woohoo Gaming and J Team. I actually got interested in seeing this Wayne earlier because it does serve really good purpose with its sustain to add in as a frontline uh, for the team. But we haven't really seen it right now in Season 2. The last time we have seen it was during the Ionia Cup, but it was already when it was just released. So it's, uh, it's been a while. We have seen so many changes already in the items as well. We do see more um, attention towards the Ziggs, especially with that damage, with the wave clear. But I'm I'm kind of nervous for this composition of Uhu Gaming since they only have the Volibear to actually be the tank. Yeah. And this Volibear doesn't even survive this, that much compared oh, to the sad. other tanks. Wow, immediate Vault Breaker here by... TF-17, Sani might actually be in trouble here. Pops in the barrel gets a kill! To the buy! What just happened there to J-Team? I, 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 I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I think uh, both Soldier <laughs> and uh, and the Vi was like, Ha! Huh, you know, there might just be two guys here. We can take them on. And just Fiora suddenly coming in from the side. CF-17 right now in a very bad spot. August already uh, taking the jungle of CF-17. Even harassing the Vi right now here in the jungle. CF-17 might not hit level 2. It Does didn't. It? August just stole one small monster on that camp and CF-17 is denied level 2 and now even Red is gonna get taken down here by August Oh man, someone needs to help CF-17 This is terrible! See, SE is gonna be here but there's also Rocky so it's a 2 versus 2 SEY is gonna get interrupted here Tactic Sweep gonna be used here August still taken down Ooh. The Red buff is stolen out! Oh man, it's already a GG go next angle here for this jungler. Oh Seven, my god! At least. No! It also gets denied! This is a nightmare for J Team. This is, uh, yeah, exactly. This is, this is not how you want your level ones. This is not how you want your early games to go. Woohoo Gaming August ca capitalizing on the early death of the Vi. Going on that jungle path of just trying to get as much camps as he can, but DY though, trying to get the kill in August. Unable to get the steal, but will get the kill, I believe. Shield! Shield! Oh hell. my god! <laughs> no! How does this happen? <laughs> no way! August is the hero. August is like the protagonist right now of Woohoo Gaming. J Team invested so much, but still <laughs> unable to shut him down. Oh my god, okay, um, I can explain, okay, right? Um, right. one of the things that Volibear really brings to the table, especially when it hits level 3, he's really, really strong. 
is probably the strongest jungler at level three because of this uh, because of his second ability. It deals so much damage, and when the second he hit, proc, right? yeah, the second proc, and when he has those sustained fights where he can't even get immediately bursted down, he really thrives. And we saw that in the first fight at the top side when he got the red buff and immediately jumped. Uh, the Vi as well as the Camille and even getting the kill on the Camille you weren't able to kill him immediately got the shield off and it's actually level 5 already look at that oh. XP bar G CF17 is like halfway to level 5 August was already there he wasn't able to even steal completely the Krug camp of August so far in the jungle matchup there's just a huge advantage right now for the side of August and this Volibear might just be able to you know take control of this game and it doesn't have any camps as well in his jungle to just reach level 5. Finally does have one and will be even investing the smite just to clear it out as fast as he can because he ha has to help out in the top lane. DY is there. Soldier as well just helping out. Man, you, you know that you're just so damn bad when your mid laner just goes towards you to yeah. help you clear out your camps. But Log is going to be here. Sadi as well is just going to be backing him up. Also is successful in stealing yet another camp. To CF17, man, this guy is not having fun today. Yeah, no, definitely uh, not. He's not being let. Uh, he's not playing the jungle at the moment. He's playing the jungle in a very nerf mode. And August still, look at how Ooh. confident he is. Just going into the jungle. He knows there's two people there, but there's gonna be a fight here in the top side. Oh no, the dredge line did not connect to the terrain, and D was gonna get taken down. It's Rocket that picks up kill. Now SCY is gonna be next. Can they actually dive under the tower? They do have the ult here, Stormbringer of August, but they don't call it off just yet. Yeah, they, 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 I, th I don't think they had enough damage to be able to burst on the Camille. Uh, if the Fjord was a bit near, might be able to pop the ultimate and get those marks. Maybe, just maybe, have enough time to kill uh, the Camille. But the Camille is too mobile to be just uh, dove like that. But at the same time, uh, this Volibear getting this fed this early has opened up so many things. For Wuhu Gaming, because at the start, if if they didn't have that invade, if Vi didn't die, I was gonna talk about how hey, maybe the Zeri might not be in the best position because he's gonna she's gonna be going against a Vladimir, and later on the Vladimir has dive potential against the Zeri, but that negates it because the early game cannot be contained right now for J for 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 J Team Soldier can't get the gold to get those items because he always needs to react where August is, always needs to protect his jungler and. It means Wu Gaming is just with with that early pick. It's just the floodgates have opened for Wu Gaming to oh, yeah. choose anything oh, at yeah. this moment. Oh yeah, and the and the sea of gold is just going towards Wu Gaming at this point. Rocket is even three, uh, three zero and one. Three kills picked up by a Fiora at five minutes. That is busted yeah. already. Now they can, they are contesting here on the R8. Let's see. CF17 can still pick up the slack, redeem himself, Bolt Breaker in, and Seasons is gonna be onto the back line, finally gonna be in trouble here, Megan Fernamov gonna be used to at least deal the damage, and is able to flash away even, Jade is now gonna be in trouble, Soldier tries to deal the damage here, Tries the Flood gonna be used to try and escape, but the Grand Challenge is gonna be there to chase him down, it gets taken out as well, now Woohoo Gaming takes over the RH, Jade team unsuccessful at all. And it's just Wuhu Gaming flexing their muscles, flexing their early wins. I felt like J Team didn't need to take that fight. Yes, they did see that they had a man advantage, but we all know so far in this game, these teams have been really, really good at at backing each other. Up at the start, the season desist did go into pan, but he was a not able to be killed. He did get ignited right there, but he didn't die. But look at the picture in picture right now. There's gonna be another guy dying for the side of Wuhu Gaming. It's gonna be Rocky getting picked off for the side of J Team, but he's living for so long. So but I'm long. looking as well. <laughs> on that replay there's two sets okay. happening <laughs> right there Gia. at least maybe at least Jaden picked up the kill even though they invested four people on him but look at Minden it's being pushed right now by Woohoo Gaming as well they will be able to secure that tier 1 J team right now is rambling in this game double objective secured by August this is now like the best early game that Woohoo Gaming is ever getting period yeah, they're, they're at a 4.6k gold lead at six uh, at almost seven minutes they even have a ziggs that can just burst these towers down so fast so woohoo gaming right now is in prime position to snowball this game but let's look on the other hand 
how can J-Team uh, pick themselves back up here? And one of the keys here is their pick potential. They have the Nautilus, they have the Vi, some of the best CC champions in the game. And this just might, could be the start. No, they're not in position yet for the fight, but they're forcing it really hard right now. Yeah, what's this gonna be used? Run oh my god, is gonna make it for the right in the middle! The next one nearly got blown into pieces right there. Fortunately, he was able to still survive, so he will be able to back away as the wide joining mid lane just pressing down Tani. But man, J Team investing so much, but still unsuccessful. Near gets taken out as well. Pan nearly gets taken down. This is, this is gonna be used. TY chasing down. Now they're under the tower. Too much, too deep. TF17 taking too much as well. And J Team disengages once more, unsuccessful in securing a kill, and they lose a tower in bot lane. Yeah, J Team uh, is is in a bit of a desperate spot. They kept trying to go for the kills on the top side while leaving their bot lane behind. Rocco was able to take down the turret and there's so many low members for the side of J-Team. So it's gonna be another turret here in the top side of the map. Three outer turrets now gone for the side of J-Team. Woohoo Gaming in complete control of this game. Adding to that, they have a 7.5k gold lead. 7.5 at 8,000 with a, with a really strong composition filled with crowd control, frontline power, bursting capability. Oof. It's a nightmare here for J Team, but we cannot discount them just yet, right? Since they have the Zeri, they have the Vladimir, they still have massive late game scaling. They can still turn the fight around later on, but they need to be extra careful now. They have been trying to secure a couple of picks, so it has been unsuccessful so far. But just one pick, just one beautiful play can actually allow them to be back online. Yeah, they just need to slow the tempo. Woohoo Gaming is just such it is such a confident spot that they can just keep confidently going to these uh, to the jungle, trying to get these picks, which they are trying to force right now. And even though J T M, oh my God, X One needed to expand his ultimate there, just to be able to like guarantee his safety, man. It's a nightmare right now for J Team. They're gonna be able to, I believe, secure this. Oh, unsuccessful. Okay. That uh, charge was too early. Yeah. J Team is able to at least buy more time for themselves. Yeah, but Pan just needs to get in range for another satchel, and that would have been enough uh, at this point at 600 HP. So that uh, that has taken uh, there's a timer right now. That mid lane second tier turret. If Pan just gets near it, it would get destroyed and Woogie Ming I think they are making the right decision at this point trying to reset uh, but uh, trying to reset trying to maybe position for themselves for the next objective but doesn't look like it they are still very much far forward trying to get these picks trying to bait in J team because we've seen so far J team having a lot of desperate plays having a lot of desperate moves and I don't think that was what they needed they need, still needed to get a bit more gold on their Zaya they still needed to get a bit more gold on their Vladimir before they forced that but I do understand why they're doing that because they really need to slow down the tempo because yeah. if Wilho Gaming just keeps pushing it forward they're just gonna get smothered into their base yeah I am, I'm with you on this 100% I think they're doing a really good job actually being still proactive rather than reactive to whatever Wilho Gaming is doing to them because if they stay passive right they're just gonna get beaten down even more since they're making plays they're kind of delaying the intentions here of Wuhu gaming and as long as they survive and doesn't get Make killed that's gonna be good but looks like i have curses him and being still able to back away with a flash so props to them i think giving out the blue buff is fine as long as you're you're staying alive yeah uh, but that is Jungler uh, forcing on the recall. This is going to be the mid lane second tier third for the side of Wu Gaming. This gives him a lot more control in the mid lane, a lot more control in the jungle of J Team, which may translate into an easier take on that Infernal Drake, which just spawned into the map. But that might be getting called out. Actually, Spell Shield, wow. Wow. Crown just so busted, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> like, uh, with one item, you became Malzahar. So, yeah, I'm gonna be so excited if ever that champion goes into the wild as well. But you know, the Vault Breaker, flashed away by Pan. August is gonna be here. See if PS17 is gonna be in trouble. Gets denied with a Vault Breaker out. Absolutely glorious here by Woohoo Gaming, and they can just run it down for anything oh my God, that they actually August. want to. That damage, insane. The Soldier, Megan for the Bob, not either. Go? August got it already. Yeah, I saw August building some AP earlier. <laughs> so that might. That, 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 that just too 
much, man. Yeah, he he, he had the he called this it, I think it's called the Hexec Alternator. So I'm not sure where it went. <laughs> but he did have AP and because of the two champs down on the side of J Team, there's gonna be a free baron for the side of Wuho Gaming, which extends the tempo, extends the lead for them in this game. And Wuho Gaming just, you know, playing textbook uh, tex textbook well drip at this point. Just build rabbit and death up already, although. <laughs> so bad. At this point, uh, Gang did not in the bottom lane, so J Team will still be able to stay alive. The rest of uh, J Team is actually there. TSTY, CCF 17. Gang is alone here in the bottom lane, so you need to be extra careful. So I think he's just gonna be doing this. Just guiding the wave, helping out. Wake up. Will not be engaged. That's how, how much lead. Woohoo Gaming actually has that even the support is not being contested. Pops in the quickness, Bolt Breaker to at least give some space to X1. They disengage, but the top lane, so Sari is just alone, but deals massive damage despite the 3 versus 1. But that's yeah. still a shutdown onto him. Yeah, that's still a shutdown, but Woohoo Gaming answering with some pressure here in the mid lane. They might go for the bot lane after this, but no, I think there's only 4 of them. They do have the Baron, but they might just try to force a fight against J Team here. Now we're gonna be falling down, at least the inhibitor uh, inhibitor one. J Team again being down 10,000 gold at 13 minutes. This is gonna be trying to maybe go in. SEY oh is here. Great knock up with the death charge. But the Megan Inferno Bomb is gonna be disengaging them a lot. X1 immediately backs away. A quadra kill for Rocky? Man, this guy give is. Give him the penta. Yeah, just give it. Give it already. Give it. Give it! X1 <laughs> will not be giving it, but this game is gonna be handed over possibly in a short while because they don't have a wave. But since we have a bit of a long death timer, oh, down and they will get game number two again. We talked about three game series not being good for J Team, <laughs> and this is not a good sign.